this is Tomb Raider. As you can see. It's a, um, and you call it a remake. It's a um, reboot. Reboot, perhaps is the word. So, the basic story is you were an archaeologist on a ship. On your recommendation, they've uh, headed off to this remote island. And then there's been a shipwreck. So, it's a, a typical third person view like the original Tomb Raider. But also um, there are various points various points oh, whoopsie various points where you, you have to do specific actions like Pressing the Q to break a hole. Right. Oh, God. What's going on here? Wait. I can use that bow. Find a weapon to hunt deer. Right. Now, couple with this. There's uh, various puzzles. I've got a quiver, but how do I get a bow? Can't hunt with my bare hands. I need to find a weapon. I'm not sure if this is a puzzle or whether I'm expected to do something or whether I'm just supposed to wander around. This is part of the problem with the game, I think. Alright. So perhaps this is jumping. Jumping puzzle of some kind. Let's see what happens. Come. Oh. I could do this. So you see, now I'm not in control of anything. Supposed to press something. <laughs> yes. So it's a bit like uh, you know the Telltale Games things, where you're expected to. Uh, Let's see if this thing still works. Just press. remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world. But it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. Yeah. I'm so hungry. I need so to find something to eat. Right, so where was that deer about? Yeah, someone started a fire, which is curious, isn't it? Now, like all Tomb Raider games, you spend quite a lot of time staring at a cute woman's butt. That's not a problem for me. I think she's actually more realistic looking than, than many of the... Uh, many of the Tomb Raider games, although I can't say I've already played anything after the first one, and I wasn't really good at that either. Uh, 
I don't know why I... Yeah. Pick up some more arrows. Let's try again. Oh, I think that deer might be dead. Now I suspect I will now have magical wilderness skills to skin the deer. Sorry. Yes. story. Well, it seems like the game is about the, um, you know, the descent from innocence or whatever you want to call it. And she becomes hardened. Right, back to camp. All right, so I'm assuming I've got the meat. All right, Lara. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Yeah, right. So basically... Came down the river. So yes, this game is uh, obviously it's a Windows game. I'm running it on Linux with Wine. It seems to work pretty well. Oh, so there's a something here that I should have been looking for. I don't know. The game itself. It's sort of a, an odd hybrid of, um, of action game and um, action game and you know um, telltale game style adventure. How can I spend the skill point? So you have none complete. Alright, so I've mastered it. Is that what I do? I've mastered it, right. I understand. So there we go. will get me out of this. Uh, so there's like, it's not a skill tree, but there is at least 
two different things. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth! Lara. You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach. And then it went black and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Okay, so that's that's the game. Um, we didn't really see any music, any puzzles. There was, there was a nice one I did uh, earlier in the game to do with getting flaming flaming things to burn down a barrier uh, by bypassing a waterfall. Uh, so, as you can see, works just fine on Linux. Uh, I followed the instructions on WineDB to get it running after getting stuff installed um, and I picked this up in the recent Steam sale for you know a fairly bargain price for whatever it was all the Tomb Raider games so if you're on Linux or you know even if you're not this might be worth checking out in the next Steam sale <laughs>